some of the latest, you know, sad news out of Chicago that I know kind of hit you hard was uh, FYB Trigger and FYB DJ. Yeah, man. You know, um, I, I, I'm, I think you were close to both of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. FYB DJ, my boy. Trigger, my little brother. Man, yeah. bro. Uh, I just want to say sorry for your loss, man. I know that, you know what I'm saying, a homeboy and a brother, you know, Cash, which we talked about earlier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, how'd you meet, you know, DJ and, you know what I'm saying, I know Trigger was your brother, you know what I'm saying? What what was it like with, with everybody? I met, I knew DJ from from Newtown, for that to be well, too. We, he, he another person that came from off the low end. Me, DJ, Duck, Shondell. It was a lot of, we all stayed on the low end together. Went to either Price or Doolittle or something like that. We all went to school together. Okay. And uh, and what about Trigger? You know, that little fucking evil. You know, my evil, that my evil twins was like crazy. You know, he pretty just a vibe on first grade. You know, I, I guess Trigger had a, a pretty notorious reputation. You know? Honestly, he only did what people allow him to do. To, I, on first grade, if you're a goofy, then I mean, honestly, though, why do a goofy need a gun? You accidentally kill somebody. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody out to kill you. You know what I'm saying? So, why told it? To say you got one, then you actually did to kill somebody. What? So, I don't feel like he's doing nothing wrong. I think he's doing actually a good deed to society on folks' grade. You gotta really think about it. If you take guns from the people who don't need the guns, then the stupid shit don't happen. So in a way, he he was doing some bad, he was doing some fucked up shit, but then he was doing some good shit to society. Cause think about it. All the niggas who got their shit took. That goofy ass nigga could have went and killed somebody's son, kill somebody's daughter or something. Cause you know, a lot of these niggas be killing themselves, killing these these females and killing themselves. So, he might did some, he might did justice to somebody. Dude was probably doing something crazy with that motherfucking guy. Felt like he didn't need that gun and took that bitch and got it took from him. Gotta really think about it though, cause the world really is a, you know what I'm saying? It's a magnificent thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real, I was like, nah, let me say this. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm serious though. That was, he, he probably was doing a good thing. To me, he was doing a good thing to society. Cause we need the blicks. Do you have any stories you can share with him? Hanging out, having a good time? Hell yeah. yeah. He, he an asshole, he don't, like, he don't like going to movies and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But he, he, that little bitch can bowl. He can bowl. Oh, um, bro. And, uh, okay. I know, though. I had a lot of, a lot of good times with him. I want my grandma, she was a little ass crazy. But some of the shit he be doing, you can't even do, you, <laughs> fuck, can't even talk about the shit Trick be doing, though, folks. Oh, granny, he tweaking. Funny as hell, though. The, I hey, look. If you if 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 you did like do drugs, Zans, perks and shit, Vikes, that's your guy. That's the guy to get high with. He he, you know what I'm saying? For sure, you want to pull up, sip you some drink, pop you a bottle, and get high. Be just high and vibe. Trick on my grandma, ladies man, on bro, very outgoing on two grade. You hear me? Like he come, he light out the room on bro. He always. Smiling, yeah, he mean mug too, but he he always smiling. It he be he he really just try to keep a vibe going. He 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 get caught up with women just to, just to, just so everybody night go well. It's just to say it's like five, six, seven, eight women out here, and he feel like shit. I call five of their ass out here. It's ten bitches out here. He feel like I call four. You feel me? And. You know what I'm saying? And he loved to eat. Oh, folks, great. Hungry bastard. You mentioned uh, FYB DJ. You knew him since you guys were kids. You know, what was it like growing up with him? Uh, bro, them used to be, DJ used to have his bully turn, you know what I'm saying? At all times, DJ, 
DJ Bully was turned on, bro. Like, so yeah, he cool dude though. Definitely always had, had a ball. Big boy, and he wanted to be, and he liked to kick ass. Oh, um, bro, he liked to kick real ass, bro. Uh, just like this, they fresh me up. This was like this was like fresh me. This was, I was a sophomore with DJ and Luther and all them was freshers and shit, and uh. We used to just go up to the schools. Everybody meet up. We 25, 30 swole on a bus. Whole bunch of badass kids turning buses off, kicking ass. Um, bro, we end up getting into it with, uh, damn, uh, hood, hood Rich. We end up getting into it with Hood Rich. Um, bro, they coming from, uh, coming from down by, we all on a bus. Uh, the I I think they was calling him like Mo. He was a big he, big, big boy, um, bro. He big boy. Oh, um, fourth grade. Him and DJ they get to get it on. We turn the bus out. Shorty from the he get shorty he he, he slight try to check us though. He all goofy ass shorties. Woo woo. woo. DJ, boy what? Oh Shondia, who you talking to? He you DJ rock his ass. They getting it on the side of the bus. Anybody who know. They know I always come with the snake punch while folks don't fight. I'm gonna come props on I call bam boss me fall to the bus. Oh folks great, we instantly all attack his ass. His homie done run off the bus. Now that's part now I tell you, we like 25, 30 swole. Now his homie them, it ain't not part like five, six of them, but they ain't going. I ain't gonna front on shorty them. They want going. Oh, they try to stand their ground and we turn the bus off on our block. So once Motherfucker saw the fight kick it off. You got to think about it. More motherfuckers from the block standing off those on corners and shit. They, fuck is that? Now that's full of them. Fuck running down there. Uh, so our crowds is getting bigger and bigger. And they just, well, we we, we kicked their ass though. Oh, bro. A lot, <laughs> we kicked a lot of people ass. That's why a lot of people didn't, a lot of hoods, granted, I, I, like, I be seeing a lot of my homies like, oh yeah, man. Our ops clicked up with everybody. Our ops fuck with everybody. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, they do. You wanna know why? Because we was being bullies when we was kids, bro. And a lot of them, a lot of niggas still hold that, hold that shit. To you. Boy, them niggas beat my ass, boy. Them niggas, them niggas jumped on us, boy. Them niggas, and they motherfucking like, oh, he put me to sleep. They, they, they did this. They did, and we was going to parties with. It'll be a party in somebody else's hood. We out catch the bus, catch the train. Go to we over here on y'all shit, acting like this side block. Get into it with y'all, beat y'all up. Probably my fucking the party side had to shoot out all type of shit out here. All because when it come down to it, right now, now that I think about it, we was being bullies. Oh um, bro, we was doing shit that we didn't, we ain't have to do. Oh um, bro, we was just doing shit because we could. At the, on a serious level, it's like okay, yeah, we can do this. Who gonna stop us? Whoa, y'all wanna fight? Catch us? Kick our ass? A uh, rest in peace to DJ, both of them. Both of the guys. You know what I'm saying? I DJ and Trigger. All right, PFYB, Trigger, long let me take your scrap, man. I don't know, so they know. Definitely. Just so they know.